Hello and welcome to your astrological vibrations for Thursday, January 11th, 111, 2024 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is, I'm getting ready to be ready. <laughs> All right, so we have a new moon in Capricorn today and I'm feeling like this new moon is one of the most important of the year and I know we just started the year, but this new moon is helping us to get ready to be ready. So a lot of times before I record, I will meditate and just be like, are there any energies coming through? And I did look at the Sabian symbol for this new moon before I went and meditated and took a little nap. <laughs> and the only thing that came through was the scene in Home Alone. <laughs> where Macaulay Culkin, Kevin McAllister, can't believe I can pull that name out of the hat, um, is like getting ready for preparing to deal with the robbers. Now, please don't take this quite literally. It's the getting ready to be ready part. And it was the part where he was like praying in church and you could like hear the choir in the background getting somewhere with this, trust me. So the Sabian symbol for Capricorn 20 degrees, which is where this new moon happens, is a hidden choir is singing during a religious service. And that's literally the image that just kept running through my head through the whole thing was his preparations for, you know, the thieves coming and him protecting what was important, valuable to him, right? So Capricorn energy, this new moon in Capricorn is really setting us up for the year ahead. It's really helping us get ready to be ready for the year ahead. This is a beautiful moon for setting your intentions with your full integrity of belief and decision behind it that you are going to follow through and... Do the thing for this year. Whatever that thing is for you. You know, maybe it is a Kevin McAllister situation. Who knows? I don't I don't really want to put that out there. But you know what I mean. Like, it really is so much about getting ready to be ready. And, like, Spirit's like, I am here with you 100%. Like, I've got you. You've got this. You can do it. Now, it's so funny because the saving symbol for 21 degrees, which it shifts into, you know, very soon after the new, the peak of the new moon, is... A relay race. <laughs> so we're getting ready to be ready for the relay race of 2024. How are we going to be moving forward in 2024? And truly, it's up to you. You get to decide how you're going to show up. You are the authority of your life. Whether you hand that away or not, the authority is yours. And I believe that Pluto in Capricorn, as it's finishing up, is calling us back to that authority to be like, you get to decide where you put your precious energy, how you utilize your precious energy, what you decide to do in a day. Make it a good one. Like, be creative. Go Kevin McAllister in this, right? Um, so it's a really powerful new moon. Not to mention that it comes shortly after a lunar connection to Uranus. And Uranus is like, what do you got to let go of for this relay race for the year 2024 that you're heading into? So this is a call to decide. This is a call to your responsibility. This is a call for you to remember your personal authority and give your attention, give your energy to this even if it's just a word my intention for 2024 is looking at the word healing <laughs> my intention for 2024 is healing my intention for 2024 is prosperity my intention for 2024 is to be all i can be my intention for 2024 is this this is powerful energy to stand in that decision and then practice throughout the year the responsibility of aligning with your said intention. Because in anything we're doing, we're either 
consciously aligning with our attention or sometimes consciously or unconsciously not aligning with it. And so this is up to you how you are going to kind of grab the reins of this year. This new moon feels really, really potent for that. And the background choir is singing. <laughs> um, now, besides that, there's some other energies today that are feeding into this. So we have Venus and Chiron in a trine. Venus in Sagittarius, Chiron in Aries. And Venus in Sagittarius is holding the intention of your vision, this higher vision, this higher calling. And Chiron in Aries is like, you can do it. You came here to be this. Do the thing. Like, you are so worthy. Come step up into this energy. You've got this. Um, now what is a little challenging is throughout the day, we're building to a conjunction with Pluto, the new, the moon newly new, <laughs> um, connecting to Pluto still at that 29 degree and Pluto may test you. Pluto may test like, do you mean it? Are you really going to be in your integrity? Are you going to follow through with this decision? And you may feel a little temper tantrum-y. In it. You may feel a little frustrated. You may have a little power play outside of yourself, but you have to remember your personal responsibility. You are not responsible for anybody else, unless, of course, you're a parent. But, like, no other, you know, person are you here to control. You're really here to steer yourself. And so Pluto may be a reminder where you need to come back to yourself, where you need to steer yourself. There's also a connection with Neptune in the day. And that Neptune also feels like a pat on the back being like, hey, you came here to do the thing. You've got the ability to do the thing. Show up and do the thing, whatever that thing is. So this is really beautiful, potent energy. It's also building to a Mars-Jupiter uh, connection on Friday. And that, again, is like, <clears throat> Can you take action? Can you align your actions with this thing that is important to you, this intention that is important to you? So the Astro is kind of like lining you up for your 2024 relay race. I'm here for this new moon. <laughs> so card-wise, I got really beautiful cards. It really is. It's a story. Oh my gosh, it's for sure a story. <clears throat> the Fool, here's your journey of 2024. Here's you breaking through these chains, these places where you've handed over your authority. Here it is for you to take back in order to move forward. And then here we go. Some queenie energies, the lighthouse and the flowering. You blooming into yourself and you sharing the light of you blooming into yourself. And what does that do? Reflect the love of who you are across, across the world, across the universe. This energy is here for you if you choose to show up. So, like, what a beautiful journey this is right here in the cards. Like, so many major arcana. I think they're all... Well, three major arcana and two queens. Like, this is a full house right here. I, I don't know poker, but it's like something like that. So this is some beautiful energy. What are you going to do with it? Value this energy that you're being given to establish a beautiful foundational forward momentum for 2024. It doesn't, it's, this isn't like New Year's resolutions. But it is intention and the universe is asking you to step into your integrity. Like, can you show up for yourself in your personal responsibility? So there's that. So I'm going to leave that there for today. You can book a reading with me. Email me, mimiclark at gmail.com. 2024 readings are still available for a little bit longer or general readings if you just want to dig into your chart and see what's going on. See how you can align with your personal responsibility for this year ahead. <clears throat> and besides all that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power and remember who you are. Namaste.